Hey guys, um, so I am going to film this haul in my car. Work is a little crazy right now and I can't really do much there besides my work. Um, so I'm going to do this haul for you in my car. It's not ideal, but let's get to it. It's a Dollar Tree haul. You know, last time I did a Dollar Tree haul, I got all these comments about how terrible Dollar Tree is and like all of this stuff and I just want to say that most of the stuff that you buy in retail places like Walmart, Target, stuff like that comes from China and it's almost none of it's made in America I mean let's just face it it's all imported and Dollar Tree right now for some of us is essential because Shit is really expensive out there, like ridiculously expensive. And even Dollar Tree now, everything's not a dollar twenty-five. So you know, before you go talking about or like making judgment on people who do Dollar Tree hauls or have to go to Dollar Tree, I'm not buying excessive amounts of stuff. I'm sorry, guys, it's really hot. I'm not buying like excessive amounts of stuff that my family doesn't use. I'm not like some kind of a hoarder. I'm literally just showing you the stuff that I buy for those of you who want to know what other Dollar Trees have um, and an opinion of like whether or not I've used it before, did I like it, stuff like that. I'm not hoarding anything. I'm not doing anything I wouldn't normally do. So just so we get that out of the, out of the way because a lot of people had a lot to say about my last Dollar Tree haul, which I really don't understand it because I don't even really get a lot. Um, so this is what I picked up today. Let's just get to it, okay? So I haven't had a chance to really decorate for, um, 4th of July. So I got some shiny, nice, just, I got, this is, um, I think this is eight flags. Yeah, it's an eight flag banner. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I got two of them. We have a wraparound porch. Um, when I do it, I'll try and post a picture here. So we need, I, I need at least two. And then I got a bunch of these. These are really pretty. This is a windsock. We have hooks on our, our porch. And it says, land of the free because of the brave, which I absolutely love. I got this one. It says the same thing. But it's like one of those ones that has the spiral. And another one of these. It's a big porch, guys. It's a big porch. I got that. And then this is for something that I want to do at work. Um, it's not for 4th of July necessarily, but um, it's it's a new thing that I'm going to try with my employees. Um, and we needed, like, individual stars. So this was really good for that. Um, I do have a new device at my house that will give me hot water and also... I've been making coffee at work because our Starbucks is closed. It's only closed until like the end of July, but it's killing me and I have to make coffee at work. So um, these are a pretty print. It does have that sticker, but it's a removable sticker at this point. Um, but these I thought were really pretty for my to-go coffee. Um, we lost power at my job. So we lost all of the stuff that was in our refrigerator. Um, so I did have one of these milks there, um, so I got another one for backup, but um, I have to replenish that at work. Um, boring, boring toilet paper. I just did not feel like going to a bigger store to get any more, so I got those. Um, I only found one of these, and I was kind of excited um, because it says no sugar added, and it only has four grams of sugar per serving. And it says it's organic. It's an organic garden vegetable pasta sauce. So it is by the, bland, the brand Muir Glen. I know it sounds Irish to me. And it's organic. And it has that USDA certified organic logo there. We have that at work. Um, sun kissed and vine ripened. It's made in beautiful California. Non GMO. So that is really good. I am very excited. Um, I can get cheaper sauce at Walmart, to be honest with you. I just got some yesterday, but I wanted to try that. 
Oh, this, if you guys don't know, this is a dupe. This is a dupe for the Hemp's, it's H-E-M-P-Z, Hemp's brand. Um, and I kept seeing people talk about it and I had smelled the one that they had that was like pineapple something and it was a lotion and I didn't really like it. So when I found this, I, I was like, oh, let me see. And it actually smells really good. It says triple hydration and it's um, hemp, hemp flower, which if you know, you know, I work at a CBD store and anything that has hemp or CBD in it is provides extra um, layers it goes deeper into your body so it does by essence of being hemp hydrate you more than a regular product I love these I buy these all the time in my local grocery store sometimes I can get them 10 for ten dollars which is cheaper than a dollar 25 but while I was there this was again the only one I saw of the pink one so I grabbed it. I had gotten them at another Dollar Tree earlier in the week and I scooped up a bunch of them. This is my tried and true. I buy it all the time. It is an imitation for the Tarte primer. I love it. It literally keeps my makeup on all day long. Um, I tried the peanut butter ones of these the other day and they were delicious. So I decided I would get these for a snack. And then they had um, churro flavored. So I thought I would get them. And I think, yeah, I also got the white uh, fudge ones. I'm going to, like, take these to the movies. You know, I'm not, whatever. Um, I we needed plates. I got two. I hate getting these plates, but it was the only option that they had today. Um, it says that there's 20 plates, but honestly, it's like 10 because you need two of them so that stuff doesn't, like, fall off of them. I got this. Um, to make my daughter pancakes this weekend. It's it's actually Hungry Jack and it's the complete so you only have to add like water or milk to it. I thought that was really good. I got these for my husband because he has this like marble mouse game that he plays with the cat and he's always missing his he's missing his marbles. <laughs> so I got these. I thought these were really pretty. And they look just like the other ones that come with the game. He absolutely loves the sugar-free Sonic drinks, and they're getting harder and harder to find. So being that I found the blue one, I got him two of those. I think, oh, these were this was something new, new here anyway. The Lazy Dog Cookie Company. Um, they say they're in Boston Spa, New York. Rolled oat honey, palm oil, whey. Vanilla, rice flour, apple cinnamon, and natural smoke flavor. So we're going to try these for the pup and see if she likes them. I'll be honest, she never eats anything except meat sticks because that's all she ever wants. Um, oh, I had to replace this for my husband at my job. And I got this because we always, um, when we buy our flash food bags, we get avocados. And I like to make guacamole. Um, so this is just good to have on hand. Um, and this actually has no sugar, which is pretty good. Some guacamole mixes have sugar. This one has none. Um, oh, I got my husband sauerkraut. My husband eats um, keto, but he can have sauerkraut. And again, this is another product that has zero sugar. And then this was new, and I was pretty excited about this. It's from Tom and Ollie. It's garlic mayo. I've tried something similar to this. It was called like a fry sauce by Hellman's and it was really good. It was like a, a mayo aioli, they said. So I'm curious to see how this one is. $1.25 is really good for this because the Hellman's one, it's, it is much bigger, but it's like four or $5. And that's about it, guys. I do have another Dollar Tree haul at home from stuff, fun stuff that I collected over the week. Hair, hair clips and lights for the house and like different things. Um, I'll do that over the weekend. Um, and yeah, and oh, and I have a Goodwill. I might do the Goodwill stuff actually right here. It's just a couple of things. I might do them in the car. Um, but I have those things coming. So if you like these types of things, please follow me. I'm losing followers left and right because I'm not on here all day every day right now. Um, so if you follow me, I promise I will keep pushing out stuff. But um. And I will see you later. Bye.